Hi Genti, hey, welcome. Hello. I'm so happy you could make it. We do like this now. Yeah. Hey Corona, this hello. Is the new this is the new way. <laughs> Welcome, this is like the new Swedish residence and I am Elsa, the Swedish ambassador and I have invited my very good friend Genti Corini who is a famous Albanian artist because I want to show you the new Swedish art that we have just received to the Swedish residence. Thank you very much for mentioning the famous part. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very, I'm very happy to be here. And uh, yeah, I'm an Albanian artist. My art is, is focused mostly on you know, abstract formalism, but with a social commentary part of it. And I can describe it briefly like that. That's excellent, because I think we have a little bit of that here today. So let's do yeah, the tour. Let, let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. I decide we start with this. It's Michaela Cignozzi. Like She's it. Yeah, you like it. Good. She's actually the youngest one we have in the residence. She's born 82 and she has a little bit of this abstract... Uh, it, it reminds me of your paintings and the, I, I the, love your paintings. There is a paintings. connection of geometrical yeah? abstraction. Exactly. She's also inspired by um, urban environment. And this is an addition, I think. Uh, yes. Because they, are, they work with the same same kind of pattern in yeah, each painting. Yes. So it's like a, Exactly, and you know she always works in series like this. I don't know, maybe that's how you do it. Uh, you can see the layers, how she, you yeah. build up the, the, the painting, so it's very interesting. Yeah. This Here's one, this let one. me show you. Uh, his name is Harald Lüth, he's born in 37, and you know he's called the master of the grey shades in Sweden, and he's also very influenced by the action paint, painters in the yeah, 50s, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jackson Pollock, um, so yeah. yeah. Abstract expressionism. Exactly, Pollock. exactly. You can see the, you the can see kind that? of different way of doing abstraction. It's more somber, but it's more lyrical, and so it, it connects more to the post-war kind of uh, yeah. uh, abstract uh, tendencies. And it's, uh, and it's interesting to see like a master of the grey. It's not so easy to grasp all the greats, so no. that's why maybe he's one of your, your favorite yeah. artists. I think. Yeah, he is one of our favorite artists. But do you like it? I, I like it, I like it. Yeah? I, I, like, I have to see more of this work, but yeah? like, it's a very good one. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to see the other artists. I want to show you this one. This is a, this is a woman, her name is Eva Grüt. And she's quite interesting because she keeps a very low profile as an artist. She's actually a set designer and she's very famous for making puppets for the Swedish puppet theatre. But I like her because it's colourful and big shapes. I think you are inspired by this piece on your, or in your outfit today. It's actually, a perfect, it's a perfect match. Do you like it? Well, especially this piece is very clean and very simple, but to the point. It has an expression, and it, also it's like a gesture, abstract gesture, but also kind of suggests, you know, these kind of ideas of uh, the figure. So maybe this connects to her practice as a puppet maker. Yeah. And it's, it's a very Good yeah. piece, I like it. Yeah, this is like a nose, you know. You like it could well, be. Well, it's like it yeah. I, I I I see more. <laughs> you know, when you go to this therapist room and they put you like these marks. Yeah. And what do you see? So yeah. this is kind of a game of psychological. So I yeah. see a butterfly. Oh, but that's so wonderful. So maybe someone has to make us a diagnosis. Yeah. So you see a nose, I see yeah. a butterfly. Yeah. So Why what's not? going on here? <laughs> I have another painting I want to show you, and I'm very curious this is the one I know you like, the notice when you came in. I'm very curious about this piece because since I entered, I, I, it catched my attention. It's a very uh, mysterious, particular one. I want. Yeah, I noticed you liked it, and uh, this is interesting. The, the, the artist, his name is Stig Pettersson, he's born in the 30s. He is. Um, uh, a political artist, I would say. He comes from the north of Sweden. He was very interested in uh, the urbanization, people leaving small towns, moving to bigger towns, and he was also very engaged in labor rights because he, he came from the mining area, so he was interested in the labor rights of the miners. And all his paintings are like a comment to political happenings. Yeah, yeah. I, I, see, I mean, this also in this kind of specific painting is like this kind of guardians of this this kind of 
yeah. of structure of, or bridge. You said that even the name of the painting is called Bridge. It is. And it it's, is. Uh, I think it's a very political charged uh, piece and it's a good one. And, all, and these questions are always relevant all today. What's, what about working class and what about the immigrants and what about all yeah. these issues we also have. And this yeah. painting kind of takes you there. And yeah. maybe that's why I'm kind of attracted to it. Mm. No, I like this one. It's it's a bit sad, but it's uh, eye-catching. Yeah. yeah. So this big piece. You like it? Yeah, I like yeah? it, and it's very it's very catchy, and uh, I want to know more about the artist. The, the artist's name is Pontus Råd, and he's born '62, so he's sort of youngish, and he is a surrealist, realist painter, and. I've seen some of his other paintings and he makes like also comment to like the ideal life of the 70s. Like more pop culture A little bit pop culture, yeah, he has a lot 60s. of, yeah, exactly, and then he has these families or, you know, people in colourful sort of family. The middle class bourgeoisie family. Yeah, and, sort and of, yeah, and he makes a comment to that. He also has a series about Brexit. Uh, so he makes comments about our society and he started the independent art fair in Stockholm and I, yeah, I like him as well. Uh, yeah, and especially this piece is a very, it's a very interesting one because you have this figure of the boy and then you have this kind of more abstract part yeah. which can be like interpreted as a ball but also like kind of uh, playing with the uh, unsure type of future which is like this combination of this tension of the left part and the right part. But you have a last secret, you said, I in do. this residency and I'm very curious to yes, Genti, let's go, go there. It's actually here. Stop! Let me okay. tell you a story about uh, where we are now. I think this is the most valuable piece that we have in the residence. This is a pioneer, her name is Märta Mås Fjetterström and she started carpet design uh, already in the 1920s, 30s. And she became so famous, so during the Second World War, 1941, she died. And then the US government came in and they wanted to buy a share of her studio because she was already then world famous. But then our Swedish king, he said, no, this is Swedish. It has to stay in the country. It has to stay in the country. So he bought a share of her studio where she had women employed, where they did this pattern. And now she has influenced the, the carpet world like Picasso influenced the art world. That is what I've been reading. And uh, you know, she, you can see her at the Metropolitan, at the um, National Museum of Art, and Steven Spielberg, he has a, a carpet. But I don't know, when you walked in here, would you think? I mean, it's an amazing piece. It's a very, it's very fresh and it reminds me of Matisse, you know, this pattern. Yeah. But then standing here is like, does this fly? I mean, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's a very fantastic piece. But and and she designed the uh, the patterns. I yes, think. she did. She she it's got their, them from her, nature her own, exactly. Yeah. And she was also inspired by Art Nouveau in the beginning. But then she developed this sort of unique uh, style that is now world famous. Ah, it's a very it's a very good piece in terms of like these limits of, of, of pattern but yeah. also goes into more decorative and more abstract uh, yeah. pattern so it's this kind of fusion of, of these two worlds and yeah. I think it should have been very avant-garde back in times when exactly. uh, the design of the carpets exactly. more, were more, yeah. more traditional in a way so this should yeah. have changed the whole thing. Well, it's, right. a, it's it's very well, I'm good. happy. It's very I'm good happy to be you standing. came. I'm happy you're so that, standing on this. That was the surprise. <laughs> That's, was a this is the surprise. surprise yeah. Thank you, Genti. And oh, thank you very much. It's such an enjoyable like, trip in, in, in your collection. I yes. mean, at the embassy collection. Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome back. <laughs>